good afternoon uh, so today we are doing the farm and um, this is the small section we have uh, we have pili pili hohos that are about uh, one and a half months old and uh, we also have our papayas that are doing also doing very well in between intercropped and uh, so we have, we've had a very we have we have spaces that are uh, some some uh, hohos didn't germinate or, or germinated or they were overwhelmed by the water so i've decided in between kukatikati where there are the spaces you see Papa, there i decided to plant uh, short-term crops this time and, and, and this time around, I'm, I'm doing uh, gorgets. The variety I've chosen, I've, I, uh, I've chosen uh, stuck ayers, but um, that was before I, I read some reviews online and they said uh, the biggest issue with uh, that variety is uh, mosaic virus. I don't know how true that is, but a lot of people are complaining about uh, about uh, stuck ayers and uh, and having mosaic virus. You know, so that's dangerous because if you have, if, if it's true. That means that as a farmer, then you're not harvesting anything. You're, you're not going to harvest anything. And uh, the best thing about gorgets is that uh, uh, you're in the market between 40 and 50 days. So the variety I've decided, um, so I've, I've, after I've, I've learned that the uh, variety could, uh, could give me issues much later. So I decided to go back and, and, and research on what other variety I can do. And that's when I came across uh, a farmer who's not very far from where I am, and he does continental, and he's getting very good, uh, very, very good results. I mean, he's good at getting good yields, and the color is uh, good for the market. So, two things to consider when you're about to plant your your uh, gorgets, your gorget seeds. One is uh, the variety you're going to do is the yield. Uh, and also, um, like we always say, start with the market. So yesterday I was in the market, uh, I wanted to know more about, because I've never planted these things before. This is the first time. So I wanted to learn more about why, what they look for when they're buying. And um, one, of the, one of the things that actually I don't think most people consider when they're, when they're planting is, I think uh, I didn't see anyone mention that online, was uh, the color. The color of the produce. So that dark green, the dark greenish, uh, dark very dark green, shiny uh, color that's on sack eyes is what is actually what um, most buyers uh, are looking for. And actually, uh, uh, sadly, I was not able to take a video yesterday, but you could tell the difference between like the other varieties. When you look at the colors, one is a lighter shade of green, and the other varieties is, uh, and the stack eyes is very dark green, very shiny kind of dark greenish color which is very desirable and also the size look uh, if you fit these things properly i think you get um you get a um, good 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 uh, good yield so uh, i've just planted uh, this this in me is i've, I've, I've used uh, i soaked these seeds overnight uh, i soaked them on overnight to on um, uh, optimizer to break dormancy uh, so it's, it becomes easier for for uh, for them to break dormancy, and also like uh, to increase the chances of the germination. And so uh, I've, I've used uh, most people say to wait for them to germinate to do to do uh, to do uh, fertilizer, but I didn't have I didn't have I don't have dry manure and it's raining. It's pretty much raining every day, so I don't have dry manure every day uh, here with me. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've used a, a, just a small nini kidogo of uh, yara power, and uh, now that's raining, I think that should be okay. And then after some after they germinate, then I'm going to like maybe after ten days, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do uh, uh, chicken manure on them, uh, chicken manure on them. They germinate TV after like ten days, then I, I should do chicken manure. But the, the land here is very fertile. Uh, we had. Uh, Cabbages, and then we had uh, before before we did the uh, hohos, and to cut more gum and mingi sana like a lot or something. So they should, the land is okay. So, but I still I'm still going to top dress with the 
with uh, yara, uh, with uh, chicken manure and then i think after some time i'm going to do maybe yara nitrabo and um, a mixture of nitrabo and uh, yara wina at some point to when they start fruiting and then also the other challenge i've, I've had is uh, a plant is they have a challenge of uh, fruit flies eh, when they're flowering but i think as you can see with the we have malenges on this behind me and uh, we have malenges behind me and uh, well uh, i think we've, we've uh, if, you, if you've been watching our videos then you know uh, we've had very good success uh, controlling uh, fruit flies with the uh, carol eh? so it's just the same thing i think we're just going to place the carol in the farm on um, this section again and then we can we can we can we can definitely we can definitely uh, control fruit flies so that's not a challenge really for us so <coughs> i've harvested uh, quite a bit of malangas here i've already oh, almost done a ton now and you see but it's gonna a lot of malangas i think we have done i've taken more than uh, uh more than i'd say a lot of pieces like 200 pieces from the farm that's about a ton and on, on an average weight of about eight kgs very big like this one and this is almost mature so i think this should be harvested in a few weeks now uh i don't know if you can remember if you've been watching this videos and you know the maize that we planted we planted maize about a kilometer had planted eh? and uh, yes so here we are so we've been very lucky no, no? Uh, maize that is a token billion billion you see and uh, the health it's very healthy yeah so we have a lot of maize green maize coming up too and uh, we have said we, we planted i think much much later one month after everyone had, had planted so we, we had the risk of if if say the um, the rain had stopped uh, in uh, december then i think we'd have, uh, we would have been in a lot of trouble but i think now as you can see the maize is the uniformity is very good and we also had maize on this section uh crop namalenge but that was epic failure man the uh we the intercrop intercropping with malenge totally failed so they failed so but at least we, we got very good malenges oh, so here i think this small malenge is ripe it's ready to be harvested yeah this is re ready name this stock is dried has dried and then as you can see in a whitish yeah yeah so yeah it's, it's ready haifiniki haikati haidungiki so this is how you know your malenge is also been asking you know how you so you take a tukwa store if you're putting in the store as you see the stock is dry see the color this color here the, the color here should be this should be like this this is how you know your malenge is ready to be harvested not green let me show let me show you the difference between um so now uh, you see it's really dry it's dry it's really it's really dry so um this is this this is the small one so i think it's like it shouldn't be it shouldn't be green let me show you a green one like if you if you're harvesting uh and this is i think this this is this is no no this is what fruit flies do to your malenges ikidungwa then they rot i think this is a section that maybe we did the carol much much uh, much later so uh, let me show you a malenge that is not yet ready to be harvested like this one see the difference stalks this is brown this is not so you may back shaky dogo and but uh, yeah should be ready in uh, not long like even uh, even even uh, a couple of weeks the maze is doing well the maze is perfect the maze on this side is perfect perfecto perfecto very perfect so but malenges we've had good success it's been a good uh, it's been a good good run good run on the on the malenges and we have no complaints whatsoever we've, we've uh, not harvested maize on this small this section it was really an overage really uh, so to say because none of those things are high risk overage that uh, 
Yeah, it was an experiment. That's what you see. This is what people are doing to your malenge, no na? Naoza. So, I think it's not the Kwanza that we didn't do. We, had, we hadn't done. Uh, we hadn't controlled. We hadn't controlled the fruit flies. Fruit flies are very dangerous. Ikidunga ivi, like you, you, you don't know if it's a. Uh, every time you come to find out, it's a. Uh, you cannot harvest malenge. It's because wakati sha maliza ivi ndo nakuja kupata imedungwa. Kisha dungwa, automatically eat others. If you other, it's a waste, man. It's a loss. See the maid? Let me eat. So uniformity, man. On this, um, on this maze, we used, uh, you we did use, uh, yara microbes for planting, yara microbes for planting, and we used, uh, we sort of dressed with yara. So you can tell the difference. Also, like the weeding, it's very healthy. The maize is very healthy. So every maize has two, two combs. No? The variety is 3253. And uh, yeah. So when you follow, when you give your crops good nutrition, when you give your crops good nutrition, then you're able to sort of uh, look at the difference. Right? The kappa, epic failure on the maize. Amazing results on the on the on the uh, pumpkins. And then look at the soil section. Amazing, the maize are doing amazing. So, so now, uh, you're happy. I'm 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 happy with the, with the results either way. Uh, maize maize you can always maize uh, maize is not expensive. So the cost of even doing maize is too unless you're doing what they call mekohoros. The, one, the green maize. This is also maize that I've done. Uh, this is for domestic use. So this is in like uh, I think uh, um, three weeks or a month ago. And uh, as you can see, yeah, the rain is where the rain stops. Then I'll just do irrigation. Oh, no, same maize, same uh, microbe. Doing good. Doing good. Doing good. I just stopped dressed yesterday, so the guy will kujaleo and linia. This is for domestic use, also the other part is for domestic use. And then you can see the uh, upcoming hoho field, which is on this section. And, uh, and uh, let me show you our pumpkin, our purpose. See? Growing day and night. In I think now it's almost uh, almost three months old. Three months old. Uh, this is the first one we did. Uh, one that was, was, was a good one. Then the other ones were planted uh, one month later. This is two months old. So it goes sour. So now um, I guess uh, January is very. It's, it's it's a, we have a very different uh, uh, whatever what uh, the weather in January is a bit different. Eh? But you can see the shimmer, see this spaces. Look at the space. How uh, gorgeous they want. Uh, uh, they they need. Uh, I think two feet by two feet. Well, from this 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 is one hole. The other one is here. This is approximately two feet. Then from this one here to where the other one is, where that, that one over there. So. Uh, when you give them space, they're able, they're able to to grow, uh, to expand, like to really it are the stems. They're able to get bigger stems. So, so that's a quick update on the on the farm. And um, yeah, so today the gadgets this section up easy. This section uh, we're doing gadgets. I've never done gadgets again, so it's gonna be a good time to learn. Gonna learn together as you go. I don't think. I don't think. But uh, from the research I've done, I don't think it's very hard to to grow gorgets. Yeah? I don't think it's very hard. I think uh, the challenge, the main challenge, is the fruit flies and the star flowering, and then uh, the other challenge is the market. Once once they're ready for the market, you must harvest. 
because if if you let them they grow day and night so kiacha like overnight uh, tomorrow the buyers might come and say uh, they're too big for their market so the size 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 and color so things to note uh, when growing gorgeous one size uh, color of the color of the of the produce is also very important to the buyers in the market and also like the variety you do like the main challenge i think could be mosaic virus and uh, the mosaic virus i think the best you can do is just control keep your farm clean ev avoid uh, make sure it's weeded nicely and um, every time so you avoid white flies and uh, aphids and things like aphids and, th and things like those so because those are the ones that are bring those uh, diseases so uh, once you control those uh, i think uh, you can just control that with proper spraying and uh, alternating what you're spraying and uh, yeah so the other thing i think now is you need to have a ready market in mind because like i said between 40 and 50 days you're already harvesting and they cannot wait ukiachas kumoja is an overgrow so you must be have a market in mind or a buyer in mind or are you going to sell them and uh, when they are ready so these are things that make you quick cash i think this and danias and uh, spinach same and kales same uh, within 40 and 50 days ukipanda with good weather and uh, you're you're able to be in the market so these are things that can make you good money because i think uh, when you when you get uh, when you go to the market uh, if they're buying from the farm or you take the market so when you take the market i think sometimes uh come ho ho yeah they buy three pieces for 20 bob which is really not bad as long as your production is is good so keep your uh, once you keep your production up you're good to go so so this is our first try on the on the gadgets so yeah it's a journey as as we are getting done with the gadgets then we talk about and the quadestizi ma ma hohos so itakuwa tu itakuwa sawa itakuwa sawa so that we just have to be smart about the spraying and because uh, now we've intercropped uh, with the hohos uh, hohos i don't know if the gadgets is now affected on the mites but i i think not so we got we going to control uh we uh, proper we gotta have a proper uh, spring guide for for this and then yeah and then we see how it goes so yeah so we're back in the farm and thanks for watching peace